would have to complete a ventilation assessment, a compression assessment, and then a CPR assessment, which is where you tie both of those credentials together. And then you do that on an adult mannequin as well as on an infant mannequin in order to complete your certification. So I'll demonstrate. And what a learner would do is basically show up. This is an environment that could be makeshift, so it could be on the fly or it could be set up uh, permanently. And so the learner would come to the iPad and they would log in using their HStream credential. They're gonna, so I'm going to log in and then I'm going to be presented with uh, my criteria that I need to complete. So I'm, and what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be doing 30 compressions to two ventilations. So I'm going to start that by going through and it's going to count for me. But I'm also going to be watching that feedback on the screen. And then once I get the 30 compressions, I'm going to do three rounds of CPR. So I'm going right along 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 29, 30. And then I'm going to do two ventilations on a mannequin. One. Two final or ventilations. Upon the completion, I get presented with a learner scorecard. You need to complete an 84 for pass. So in this case, I was I received a 98. What could I have done to get to 100? Well, if I go around, I notice on the compression depth, 100% of the time I did a really good depth of compression. If I come over to the compression rate. At the beginning, it said 27% of those compressions were too slow. In other words, 73% of them, to give me a passing score, gave me a passing score. But if I wanted to improve to get to 100%, I would have completed them all at a slightly faster pace.